Hi right, everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, we escaped the future. And in this episode, <laughs> we return to life in the present day. Are you excited, Spark? Yeah. We were at the climax. Human. <laughs> All the crazy stuff is happening. This, this is... Urgh. What? Fang, where... Isn't this... where I met you? It's like that beach. So that means... Could it be? Oh yeah! No, it is! We're... in the past! We made it back to our world! Technically, yes. it's the present spark. I know, that's what I was thinking. We <laughs> made it back to the we past, more like it, the present. Fang. Yeah, you may. Oh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> hey, girl, vile. Stop grunting and talk to me. <laughs> Look, we made it home. <laughs> it's like he's been damaged. All he can do is make grunts out. He can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we did it we made it through back to this world yes <laughs> this is where i met fang let's see his head was on this rock it was bleeding i think it was right here <laughs> Nani. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out okay, of here. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, weird. sorry. Come back. This is where I found Fang out cold. So that's what happened. The trip through time sent me into the eastern forest, and Fang and I both reached your world far away from each other. Oh, that's right. There's a lot I don't understand, like the whole concept of time travel. Will you please explain it to us? But this isn't really the place to talk, so... Why not? We got a beautiful Let's beach. Go... <laughs> Let's go to Wigglytuff's guild and talk there so everyone knows what's going on. No, we can't do that because Grovile's still a criminal in this world. You don't, you don't know that. What if we went back in time to where he wasn't a criminal yet? So there are two... <laughs> <laughs> that would mean there are two sparks in the world. <laughs> and that's all you need. No! I mean, yay! <laughs> Before we went to the future, we trained there and roamed there. We, tra we, we trained there and roamed there. It would be roomed the perfect there. place. Roomed there, whoa. We didn't I roam there. A. <laughs> it's like how I mix up Jovis with Juvis. Oh, quick. That doesn't make sense to anybody because that that's not a thing that happened in this let's I play. I don't care. <laughs> I'll still say it. it uh, whatever. For context for people watching, I guess. I was <laughs> I was playing Pokemon TCG online and Spark was watching me and there was a name named Jovis with J A O and Spark kept calling him Juvis and I was like, "Why are you calling him Juvis? There's an A there." Cool, people know the context now. Read the rest of your goddamn line. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get a really tough skills. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Will I be received? Will I be well received if I go to the guild? After all, I'm a wanted outlaw in this world. If I went to your guild, won't everyone be shocked? Don't you think they'd try to capture me? Uh, come to think of it, you're right. <laughs> what to do? Oh, I know. There's a good place, but it will involve going through a treasure town. <laughs> through a treasure town one of many did I, wait did i say hey i you thought said, i just said treasure town you said a treasure town I was like yes one of many <laughs> i went on autopilot for some reason i read a treasure and then town was separate in my mind <laughs> <laughs> it's okay it shouldn't be a problem if we lie low and sneak through lead the way okay this it's this way i'm fine i swear <laughs> <laughs> hey there's a message from the exploration team federation 
Special episode, here comes Team Charm has been unlocked! The best team ever to exist in Mystery Dungeon Forever, the legendary Team Charm. Consisting of the three beautiful beauties, Lopany, Gardevoir, and, and that other one, and that other one, Medicham. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I love Medicham, I love Medicham. Medicham is cool, I like Medicham a lot. But yeah, man, Gardevoir, and, Gardevoir and Lopany. It is a shark head. It's almost as if it's a sharpedo. I wonder what this fluff is called. There's <laughs> <laughs> no sharpedo bluff. Wow, I would have never guessed. Sharpedo bluff. Yes. I think the name comes from the fact that the cliff itself is shaped like a Pokemon named Sharpedo. I never would have guessed that. Thank you, Spark, <laughs> for the brilliant observation. You're welcome. Would you like another lesson? <laughs> as far as I can tell, Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Yo, is this our own little secret base? Yo! We did down here. We didn't want to animate the leaves moving, so we <laughs> faded to black. <laughs> I lived here before I joined the guild. Wow. Go ahead, go in. I lived in the head of a Sharpedo. Hey, it's a pretty nice place. I'm a penguin in the head of a shark. It's very organized and it's a nice living area. I would live here. Wouldn't oh, you yeah. want to live here? Yeah, I would actually. Just imagine. I do live here. Just the. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I see. This is a ho this is a hollow chamber in the face of the cliff. Phew. I'm glad no one's wrecked this place. That's proof of how little notice this place attracts. It may be better if we stay here for the time being. Agreed. Agreed. <gasps> oh, it's night time. Oh, dude, I have a perfect view of the moon. Yeah. Except, and you know, a campfire. It's, it's kind of like it's kind of like covered by the ceiling, but. <laughs> well, when the moon's rising, you can see it. Okay. All right. Sure. Fair enough. You know, <laughs> wouldn't it be like really dark here, considering that the moon is looming over them and they're on a cl they're being covered by the top? Th Whatever. I, sh I shouldn't question. We it. have a campfire. Oh yeah. Faith. <laughs> <laughs> but f that's you. Oh yeah. There's a fire. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't consider that! <laughs> it shouldn't be dark at all! Matter of fact, it should be brighter! <laughs> There's a fire there, dude! Whoa! <laughs> but Fang, I never expected you to be the v that very same Fang. Groval, can you tell us more about that? Yes, Fang and I. We were jointly investigating the planet's paralysis. A Pokemon and a human. Paired together? Yeah. And Fang had, or has, a special ability like no other. We relied on that special ability to investigate the planet's paralysis. It played a vital part. By special ability, you mean the dimensional scream, don't you? Exactly. But the Dimensional Scream has a drawback. The Dimensional Scream requires the presence of a trusted Pokemon partner. Without that partner, the ability cannot be triggered. A trusted... partner. That's why we work together. The Dimensional Scream is set off by triggers tied to places where the time gears are hidden. We needed to find out where the time gears were in the past. We needed the Dimensional Scream to accomplish that. Wait a second. You said that there has to be a trusted partner nearby for the Dimensional Scream to work. But the Dimensional Scream was triggered not long after we met. Your point? Doesn't that show you how much you two trusted each other from the start? Uh, when you put it like that... It's a little embarrassing. Yeah, man. You move too quickly in this relationship. <laughs> <laughs> in addition, Fang developed amnesia. Upon meeting you, Spark, your partner had someone to turn to. Perhaps Fang grew to trust you very quickly because of that. I don't know, is that true, Fang? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another thing I don't understand. Is the Dimensional Scream triggered in response to only Time Gears? Right. The opposite is also true. The Dimensional Scream is not triggered in places that aren't connected to Time Gears. Hmm, really? That's not how I remember it. Listen, Fang, do you remember that time it went off, it went off near Drowsy? And during our first exploration. 
and where uh, and there were other times too we, <laughs> we went to places that seemed to have nothing to do with time gears but even a place like that the dimensional screen was triggered sometimes wasn't it are you sure but that never happened in the future the dimensional screen was never triggered by places that had no tie to time gears whatsoever well if that's true i don't know why it would work differently here perhaps things are just different in this world Perhaps the nature of the dimensional scream is altered in the past. So in the future, the dimensional scream doesn't work in places that have no connection to time gears? Oh, that explains it. Maybe that's why that time, when we were in the future... Your dimensional scream. Use your dimensional scream, Fang. Touch this frozen water. Who knows, you may see something. Oh, I understand. That's true. It's worth a try. Touching the frozen water, it might give us clues about what's happening to us. We can't dawdle. Those sable eye will catch up to us. So let's do it quickly. Bulba. Why you touch the frozen way of water? Well, Fang? Can you see anything? No, I'm not sensing anything. Interesting. Maybe I couldn't envision anything that time we were in the future. Because we were in a place that wasn't tied to any time gears. Maybe that's why my dimensional scream failed to work. Maybe Grovile was right about the future and the past being different. Or different enough to make any dimensional scream ability work differently. There, and, there's more to it than that. I, I, I am inclined to believe there's more to it than just that. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but... They don't explain anything further than that. <laughs> yeah, Are it's you that, kidding me? That's just, that's just how it is. Yeah, the dimensional scream is just different in the past of the future i mean there are theories about it that are not confirmed but the theories are interesting do you want to know what the theories are yeah the theories are that um the dimensional screen because it has to be tied with your partner or you need to have a trusted partner nearby it's possible that the uh dimensional screams effects change or the visions you see change depending on what the partner is like grovile and be, they were encouraged to stop the planet's paralysis and they needed time gears. So that's why in the presence of Grovile, the dimensional scream only worked with time gears. Meanwhile, Spark is just, I want to explore and have adventure. And our, our dimensional scream pretty much related to that kind of stuff, right? Oh, so yeah, you have a point. So that's the theory. In the game, they don't really explain further on the dimensional scream other than that it works differently in the past and the future. But that's the fan theory. A game theory! <laughs> <laughs> I'm slightly disappointed that there's no actual explanation. Matt Pat, hire me! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a Pokemon theory together, buddy. <laughs> He doesn't anyway. know me. He doesn't even know me. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, we were investigating the planet's paralysis. We used the dimensional scream ability to identify the locations of the of the uh. <laughs> my voice. <laughs> Identi we did the identify the location of the time gears in your world while we were in the future. You okay, Fang? That's it. Here, a time gear is here. I see. Place the drought stone in Groudon's heart. That lifts the fog. Very well done. Good job, partner. After identifying the locations where the time gears would be in the past, we took the passage of time. That brought us from our world to in, in your future to this world. However, this is why I said earlier in the beginning of the game, I was like, did I assign this to you? <laughs> oh. oh, because I knew I knew it was Grovile, but I didn't want to spoil anything back then. Of course, I like when I I already told you why I started reading this. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Uh, are you okay? No. Don't let go. Just a little longer. Come on, hang on. No. I can't. Hold on. Whoa. Wah. <laughs> <laughs> Waluigi. <laughs> we encountered turbulence while we were traveling through time. Thus, Feng and I became separated. For some reason, Feng got amnesia and was turned into a Pokemon. I can only guess that it had something to do with our accident while traveling in time. I... I came from the future. And not just that, I came with a mission of preventing the planet's paralysis. I don't know, it seems so outlandish. It doesn't feel real somehow. So, Feng, you may not remember any of this, but... You were my closest friend. I worried about you when we were separated. I'm glad to see you're safe. Your appearance may have changed, and though you have lost your memory, you're still you. 
and none of this alters the fact that you remain my friend. Oh, Fang, I'm glad to see you again. Ah, oh, such a heartwarming moment. Now, we have to decide on our course of action. Like I've told you before, I'm going to collect the time gears again. What are you going to do? Um, I'm a little worried about how time stops in the region where its time gear is removed. But you're sure that will only be temporary. That's right. As soon as the time gears are set in place at Temporal Tower, time will be restored to its normal state everywhere. Well then, we'll go to... We'll go with you, Gervile. Taking a time gear will badly affect the Pokemon that live in that area. But we have to prevent the planet's paralysis. Okay then, we'll go together. But the hour is late. We're also exhausted from all the running we've done. We should rest up tonight. We'll leave in the morning. Everyone had nightmares. Groval, you don't know what a morning is. You come from a future of darkness where the sun never rises. <laughs> I, okay, I, I joke about that, but when I was a kid, I thought I thought stuff like that was incredible coming out of Groval's mouth because I was like, oh my god. How does he know? <laughs> no, not even that. It's just like, oh my god, he he's he's finally in a time where where morning actually comes, and I was like, oh, that's so cool because like Grovile lived his entire life with no such thing as the morning I, just, I don't know I just found that like that one little line I overanalyzed it obviously but I thought it was like one of the best lines in this game <laughs> he was just, mean, let's just wrong. wait till morning <laughs> hmm spark isn't here maybe outside we are outside <laughs> I mean it, you have a point with the whole like he's never seen the morning he's not used to it so that is really interesting when you put it in that perspective mm hmm I told you, man, I love this game. <laughs> I love this game to death. What's the matter? Can't sleep? Yes, just thinking. Thinking about Dusknoir? No, that's not it. Sure, finding out we were being deceived came as a real shock. But hearing your story earlier, Grovile, it really drove it home. What Dusknoir said in the future was really true. And it made me realize that Fang really did come from the future. I was mulling over things like that. Hey, look, Rova. Sunlight. It's sunrise. <sighs> Yay. That sun rises very fast. It's very pretty. It's pretty, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> yes. Maybe it's because we were in the future for so long. But I didn't think that, that a sunrise could ever feel so renewing. The sunrise. Sun rises, then it sets. We take that for granted, and that's only natural. Is this why you thought about that so much? Yes, dude! <laughs> but things we take for granted, they're really the most essential things, and they're precious. All I'd ever known is the future's world of darkness. Upon coming to this world, and seeing the sun for the first time, it was staggering. Seeing it, it strengthened my resolve to turn history away from a future of darkness. There's one thing that I wanted to ask of you, Spark. It's about that time in the future, when we were confronted by Dialga. Frankly, we were in a no-win situation. There was no hope. Oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> Come on, Dusknoir! <laughs> we shall be rid of you for all time. This is the end. For you. <laughs> Uh, hey, Fang, girl, <laughs> can't give up. <laughs> you say not to give up, but what can we possibly do in this bleak situation? We have to think. But do we have to think? We did think. <laughs> when, but when all seemed lost, you refused to give up. Even I had given up. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? I wanted to live. <laughs> well, I wonder too. <laughs> I really don't know. But maybe. Maybe it was because Fang stood by me. Fang? Take a look at this. This? What could it be? There's an odd pattern inscribed on it. I've never seen anything like it. This pattern is new to me. I forgot that stone was a thing. <laughs> it's a very important plot point. <laughs> Don't forget the relic fragment. This is my relic fragment. It's my personal treasure. 
I have this dream of one day solving the mystery behind this fragment. But I was such a coward. I couldn't work up the courage to go to the guild and apply as an apprentice. It was then that I met Fang. Fang... Well, okay. I'm putting my faith in you, Fang. Yes, I totally believe in you. Yes, Fang was always there to cheer me up. And... A lot of flashbacks. Yeah, no We've kidding. grown quite close together, haven't we, Sparks? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Th that's one of the things I- that's one of the things I also really like about this game, because I feel like in Time, Darkness, and Sky, like, the bond between you and your partner is emphasized the most in, in the Mystery Dungeon games. Like, Super Mystery Dungeon and Gates to Infinity also did good jobs of emphasizing the bond between the, uh, human and- and their po Pokemon partner, but... Explores a sky, never lets it go, and I and I appreciate that. I'm kind of excited for when we play a uh, Blue Rescue Team. Oh yeah, and I need to face up to this. There's no giving up now, Fang. It all gave me courage. With Fang, I felt like I could overcome any challenge. That's how I came to feel over time. Maybe that's why I was able to keep going without giving up. All right. I think I understand what you're saying. Yes, Fang has a special quality that makes others feel that way. The same way that I care for Fang as a friend. You, Spark, also feel that same way about Fang. Fang is... lucky... to be blessed with a friend like you. Hey now, don't, don't, get, don't discredit yourself. You're a good friend too. Hey, that's, that's the thing, right? That's another thing I really like about Grovile as a character is like... He's like, he, the, the, the pain he must be going through, just like, fuck, Fang doesn't remember me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's true. I was he... best friends with him first. <laughs> 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 oh my God. I never thought about that. That, that must suck. Yeah, it does. And I was like, like when I say Grovile is my favorite character in this game, I mean it. Grovile is it, number one, probably. Maybe number two, because there's another character we haven't seen yet, but number one, man. He's, he's a really good character. Well, it's morning. We should be leaving soon. Yes. I rock. So do you not like Wigglytuff? <laughs> Look, I love Wigglytuff. I love a lot of these characters. <laughs> all right. It's agreed that we will collect all of the time gears. First, we have to decide which time gear we should target. Let's check the wonder map. From here, the underground lake would be the closest, I guess. How about the Tree Shroud Forest? That was where I got my first time gear the last time. Where's that? Here. That's so far! Yeah. It's a little far from here, but there's no one like Yuxi guarding that time gear. Oh, great. If we were to fight someone over a time gear, that would attract attention. But that won't be the concern here, right? Exactly. So is that tower, that white tower, the tower that we take all the time gears to? Shh. I, don't, <laughs> I don't think so. No, that's a different one. Oh, dang. Okay. That's it then. That's where we're going. Onward to Tree Shout Forest. Yeah! And we're here. That was, <laughs> that was so fast! And we're here. <laughs> this is it. This is the entrance to Tree Shout Forest. Oh? What is it, Grovel? The atmosphere somehow feel, feels different than last time. No, I must be imagining it. We'll go in when you're ready. Yay! We're back to more adventure! After so much dialogue. You know what? I don't even want to end this episode because that was a lot of dialogue. I at least <laughs> want to get through five floors or something. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's fair. Look, dive! I could give you dive! <laughs> Whoa! I'll I'm dive into give... the non-existent water. I'm gonna give Spark dive. No, don't give me dive. Oh, we also can't put used TMs in the in the box, I guess. Wait. In our can storage. Can we sell it? Yeah. Can we refresh it? Yeah. Let me see if I could just. Let me see if I could just. Let me see if I could just. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. 
I'm pretty sure it would have been better to like recycle those, but the recycle shop isn't exactly available <laughs> right now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go on ahead. There should be a time gear at the deepest part of this forest. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. All right, I'm ready. Oba. Are you ready, Fang? Yes. Okay, we're good to go. Let's set off. All right, five floors, and then I'll I'll we'll end the episode because man. Hey, look stairs. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, four <laughs> floors and. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kecleon! Hey, dude, guess what? We're back. Ah, I'm sorry I moved you. I don't want your shit. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know you can move Kecleon out of his <laughs> out of his thing like that. Ah, no! All right, cool. <laughs> well, he's strong. <laughs> I was nervous because it was a fire type. I was like, no, Grovile, my, my friend. Don't, but don't Grovile's die. 46. That's not... Yeah, so? <laughs> 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 Your point. <laughs> Itemizer orb. What does that do? It. Nice. Turns a Pokemon into an item. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> That's brutal. Oh, save that for uh, what's it called? A monster house. A monster house? You yeah. Could. Hold on. I want to test it. No, you won't have another one. Would it, I, I could get another one some other time. Ah, he digged! Eh. You don't have a target, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna use it! <laughs> you didn't use it. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, okay. Yo, I destroyed him. Oh, nice. I can learn a new move, too. What is it? Whirlpool! Let's not. <laughs> Why not? It's Whirlpool! It inflicts damage on the target and may also afflict the target with a constriction status condition, making it incapable of movement. It will inflict double damage on a diving target, which you have! Well, well I haven't given you dive yet. It, it's only on a diving target, though. I know, but what if you did it on yourself? <laughs> that would be bad! <laughs> double damage, but I'm resistant, so it's okay. All right, well, I'm going to forget Whirlpool. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, forget it. Yes. Watch Excellent. there be like a water dungeon where everyone knows dive and it's just like, well. well gee, I wish we had. Hey, nice quick attack, buddy. Uh, if only we learned Whirlpool, huh, Spark? What would I say? Yeah. But well, you're a grass type, so you can just kill everything. It doesn't you know, matter. You should you should learn Whirlpool because in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky anime, the Piplup main character had Whirlpool. And he, com he combined it with with Ch Chimchar's flamethrower and Grovile's energy ball. It was, it was, oh, a, man. It was cool. Imagine if you were a Chimchar, everything would have been perfect. <laughs> Actually, you would have to be the Chimchar because the Chimchar was the one with the relic stone or the relic no. And then I would have to be the Piplup. Tract. I'm going to learn that to me because I'm a Tract. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna use that on me so I can attract all the Pokemon, especially Team Charm. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh, well, we already went through five floors. Explorers of Sky. Crap, that was it. All right. Uh, we're, we're gonna go explore square. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna explore Tree Shroud Forest. We're gonna finish Tree Shroud Forest and get the, rem the time gear here because it's unprotected and we don't need a boss a battle. Yeah. We'll see you That's guys. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, it's this is an unprotected time gear. There's there's no bosses here. Also, I made it to the seventh floor. See you guys there. <laughs> see ya.